hold it closer to your mouth. Okay. Yeah. A lot of scientific readings that I make from people who are not cognitive scientists uh, argue that there's no such thing as free will because of materialism. And then some people I read, like Dennett, say that there's a compatibility. And I'm, I kind of feel that with a cognitive scientist here, it'd be interesting to ask the question. Uh, do you think that there is something, even philosophically, that we can qualify as free will? Uh, uh, the yes, the, the, um, the question is, since there are a number of neurobiologists, typically not philosophers who uh, believe that the, let's call it the astonishing hypothesis, the fact that all uh, consciousness, action, thought consists of neural activity, which is a physical process, which is the point of this entire lecture, uh, that, that leaves no room for free will, and therefore free will must be uh, an illusion. Um, and so the question is, would I um, sign on to that interpretation of the uh, physical basis of <clears throat> mental activity? Um, so I, I hate to say it depends on what you mean by free will, but um, I would say that the neurobiologists are correct only in the following sense, that it is, it is not true that every time you make a choice, a miracle occurs. Uh, that, is, that somehow that there is a soul that by processes that are independent of physical activity in the brain just magically causes the body to reach for the, the, the chocolate rather than the vanilla. On the other hand, free will does exist in the sense that decisions are controlled at multiple levels of the nervous system, and there really is a difference between uh, your knee jerking when the doctor hits it with a hammer and my deciding to lift up this uh, tape recorder to, to make a point. Uh, they're physiologically different. They involve different circuits in the brain. They involve uh, many very different um, uh, uh, complexities of input. They are differ, differ also in terms of their degree of determinism, that is the probability that you have an output given a, a certain amount of input. And so a certain subset of processes that go on in the brain involving what we tend to call the highest parts of the brain, prefrontal cortex, frontal pole, um, that receive inputs from the rest of the brain, combine them with memory, uh, execute decision rules that are not deterministic. That whole family of activities uh, is what we mean by free will. Uh, it is not miraculous, but uh, nor does it not exist, and, and it, it certainly um, we couldn't really make sense of our social worlds without differentiating between actions that are in some sense chosen and in some sense compelled, uh, even if chosen does not literally mean that down at the level of neurons there has to be some miracle that occurs. So maybe a crude analogy is our best science tells us that uh, even solid surfaces are mostly empty space. Uh, on the other hand, it's, it's a little misleading to say that um, solidity is a myth and that therefore I should have no more confidence in standing on this stage than on a uh, puff of smoke. Uh, there is a real difference, it is, but at a certain level of analysis, it's not what our intuition might say it is, but the difference nonetheless is real. And so I think it would be going too far to say free will is a myth, although free will may, be, may not be what we intuitively feel it to be. That would be my best answer. Hi. Um, from 